What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video and like all the other videos I've been posting lately, it is all about money glitches and I have another solo money glitch ready to go and we are duplicating LG Retro Customs, okay? And it's very simple. A lot of flying, but it's a simple, simple glitch to do that Xbox One and PS4 can do. PS4 or PC is not confirmed at the moment. But anyways, the founder of this glitch is uh, Speed Zocker and World's Finest Gamer. Links are down in the description. Uh, like I said, Xbox One and PS4 can take part in this one. It's an easy glitch. There's a lot of flying, so I recommend having a CEO buzzard. It's a huge in this, you know, for this glitch if you have a CEO buzzard because you will be flying back and forth a lot. Now, what you need is a nightclub. You need an RH8, an LG RH8 inside the nightclub, and that's in the nightclub itself, not the garage. I'll show you what I mean here when we get started. But you also need a bunker and you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage and the car you're duping in the MOC. So the LG Retro Custom is the best one. It'll sell for the most, but any Benny's vehicle will do. Now, also, the biggest thing, no custom plates. All right, no custom plates, solo, ready to go. You know what? Let's get into it. And we're going to go ahead and actually get started with this glitch right here. Okay, so... Right here, this is me with my RH8, and I'm going to show you how to put the RH8 in the nightclub because I know some of you might probably be a little confused by it, all right? But it's okay. There actually is one of those, like, parking spots. It's like the temporary spots, like the bunker where you can put, uh, you know, a car over here. So we're going to go ahead and drive into the nightclub. So you saw that? The first option is says enter the nightclub. That's what you want to hit when you drive up to your garage over there at the nightclub. And now we're going to go ahead and enter and we should be parked here in this spot. So this is where you want to leave the RH8. Okay. This actually is a permanent spot, I think, because you can swap vehicles in here. So yeah, I definitely think this is a permanent parking spot if you want it to be. But yeah, so you want to leave the RH8 right here. And this is where you want to just go ahead and head upstairs. And now we need to get the LG Retro Custom set up. Okay. So like I said before, how you needed a bunker, we're going to go ahead and get started with that right now. So the CEO buzzard biggest thing that will help you i promise you all right get a ceo buzzard if you don't have one if you've been duping without a ceo buzzard i'm not sure how this is one of the first purchases i ever made even before i started duping but uh yeah you can go ahead and just get into your buzzard and you now you want to fly over to your bunker farmhouse is pretty close all the other bunkers are a lot farther away so i definitely recommend having farmhouse it's, it's nice and you know decently close to the city honestly so once i get over to my bunker i'm just going to go ahead and run inside now this is where, remember I said, you want to go ahead and have your MOC inside the bunker with the personal vehicle storage, and you need the LG Retro Custom that you want to dupe inside of the MOC. Okay, you don't need custom plates on it. I think on this one, I do have a custom plate, but that's just to show you that the plate will merge, like I usually do in my videos. But for those of you that are going to say, I can't drive, you know, the Retro inside of my MOC, guys, it's because you have the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop. You need to switch the personal vehicle storage. You need to modify it on the internet. Go to the Warstock page, okay? And you need to renovate your MOC. A lot of people always have problems with that part. So right now, I have the LG Retro Custom that I want to dupe. And I'm going to go ahead and drive out. And you know how they have this, you know, temporary parking spot here in the bunker? You want to leave it here, all right? This is kind of like the old glitch where you got to glitch a vehicle outside and then it glitches out this spot. This spot is amazing. Uh, yeah, so I think I have a fart crew plate on there. I think we'll see it later. If not, it's all good. Uh, the proof is, you know, once you go ahead and go to save the vehicle in the MOC, you'll see that it's going to say swap. If it says swap, then that means there's two vehicles, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and get my buzzard right here and fly back over to the nightclub okay so <laughs> it's like i said you will be doing a lot of flying now if you want you can actually like I i'm doing this completely solo which is why i got the buzzard you know in the video i had a friend offering me you know to bring me around but i said you know what i need to do it for the video if you do want to have a friend involved though have a friend in a different you know targeting mode and you can use the job markers to teleport yourself so that is another option, but that makes it not solo. So I didn't want to include it in this video, but that is another option to do. So once I get over to the nightclub, I have parked, you know, with my buzzard and I'm going to wait for this intensely long loading screen. I don't know why I get crazy long loading screens going into the nightclub. Usually I waited on there for a minute once, but uh, yeah. So once you get in here, you don't want to call out any other personal vehicles, nothing like that. That's why we're using the buzzard. All right. We have the car in the bunker. You do not want to come over here in an oppressor or anything. So you want to go over to one of the bars. All right. So you can go to this bar right here that's downstairs, but I don't recommend it because you'll see why. 
go upstairs and go to this bar, press right D-pad and pause at the same time. And you saw that? The pause menu came up and the animation happened? That's good. Go to Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, back out of it, and then now you see we have the menu right here. So don't press circle or B too many times. You want to just back out of the pause menu. And now we actually glitched out the menu and we're walking with the menu. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is holding the left stick up. You don't want to be, you don't want to tap X or A because you're obviously going to press one of those. You want to bring the menu. All right. So where do you think we're going now? We're going to go over to the part of the nightclub where we parked that RH8. Okay. Honestly, before I made this video, I didn't even know that there was a spot there. I didn't even notice the enter the nightclub option. So I had no clue that there was actually a spot right here. I always saw this and I thought it should have been a dance floor. But uh, like, look, it looks perfect. Come on. DJ set dance floor right here. This is a whole nother nightclub. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get into the retro pressing wire triangle and then just press up until you get to one of the whiskeys. Now, I just use the last whiskey usually. Uh, go ahead and face your camera this way, except to you know pick this one, the free whiskey. Go ahead and pick it. Now, wait, your guy's gonna go invisible right when he goes invisible, you're gonna hit the gas, okay? So, you're gonna see right here in a second, and boom, hit the gas. So, right when you see him go invisible, you want to hit the gas and drive out. If done correctly, you will spawn outside without a car, okay? Without the vehicle. So here we go. Loading screen is finished. There we go. You see that? I just ended up right outside the nightclub. No car at all. We just glitched out the RH8 onto the map, all right? So if you guys have done that, this bunker, you know, dupe glitch with the uh, parking the car in that spot, you guys kind of know how this should work, all right? You, you somehow, we were doing it with a BMX bike. We've done it with an RH8, with a Faggio before. You just have to glitch out a car on the map while, you know, your retro is in this spot right here. So we call out a buzzard or we just use our original buzzer that was there because we don't want to call out any other personal vehicles at all, okay? So at this point, this is actually a little trick. I don't know if you guys realize, but when you have you know a ceo buzzer that's smoking just literally retire and then register again and you can call up a brand new one all right you don't have to there's no wait time or anything like that so whenever you want to actually get a new buzzard and you know you don't want to just blow it up and get a new one and wait for a cooldown, just retire register again nice and simple little trick uh, not everybody knows it, believe it or not. If you do, good for you. You're awesome. All right, so I have a Far Crew play right here, as you can see. I know you saw it right there a little bit. We're going to go ahead and move the camera, get in, and boom. Brand new plate. Zero, zero, B-O-F, something else that I forgot to read. All right, so I'm going to press right D-pad now, and this is the test. You see the personal vehicle storage is full. We had the original retro in there, okay? So that's proof right there that this is a brand new retro. And, you know, you'll see it again. But, yeah, that's proof right there that this is the brand new retro. It's asking you to transfer. So what just happened is you guys need to understand to rinse and repeat. You can't just pull this car out and go do it again. You have to actually go back over to the nightclub and you need to put an RHA back in the nightclub spot. OK, because right now what just happened is we just moved the original retro that I had in the MOC over to the nightclub. So we don't want to overwrite the, the original retro. We want to overwrite an RH8. So unfortunately, you do have to actually fly back again. OK, like before. And, you know, we're going to have to actually fly back to the bunker to start the glitch again. So just remember that, like I said, there is a lot of flying. It's it's at least two to three times every dupe. But, you know, if you have TP, TP is one of them, you know, one of the ways to get around quicker. Uh, or, like I said, you could teleport with the actual uh, job circles if you have a friend in a different targeting mode that's in another session. And you guys have seen that in old videos. You just join a job and then you accept the first alert to climb the second and you'll teleport with all job circles on the map. So that's another option that you can do as well. And I probably recommend that. But like I said, if it's all solo, it's not that bad. What? It takes you five minutes per dupe? At least you don't have to have any help from a friend. But we do have the 10 car or the 10 dupe uh you know uh, the 10 dupe glitch working right now so i don't know if you guys saw that 83 cgs i want you to remember that plate because that's going to be the plate we get on the new car because i don't show you the old plate so you see this i pulled out an rha from one of my garages and i'm going to drive it now into the uh nightclub and you saw that i had the transfer option so that shows you that this is a personal spot so you want to do this because now this will move the retro over into one of our nightclub garages wherever we got this RH8 and now the RH8 is here and we're ready for the second dupe. Okay, so that's how you have to set up. So it's not, you know, it's it's not the, the, the best when it comes to actually just grinding, you know, one after another and just, you know, pumping them out. But it is still 100% solo and it's doable, all right? Like, I had fun making the video. It was nice and simple, chill glitch. I could definitely do this for an hour and fill up a whole, you know, 10, maybe 20 car garage. It's all, it's all up to you, you know, how you want to play this. So 
at this moment, I'm back over at the bunker and I'm just going to go through another one really quick for you. That's how I reset it up again. I got the RH8 in the nightclub. I'm getting the retro, pulling it out of the MOC, leaving it in the bunker spot. Once I've done that, I go outside, I get my buzzard, I fly back over to the nightclub. Once I'm at the nightclub, you want to go ahead and enter on foot and you want to head over to one of the bars, okay? Remember, you have the first bar there. You don't want to worry about that one. This one right here. Don't worry about going to that one. Just go straight upstairs, and you want to go to the second bar. Nice and easy to actually, you know, get get going. So right D-pad and pause at the same time. You see the animation behind the pause menu. Go to online, criminal enterprise starter pack, back out of it, back out of the pause menu, and you should have the menu, the drink menu, or bar menu as it says there, uh, up on the screen. Only hold up on the left stick. Do not press any buttons, just hold up and just walk normally, all right? And you want to walk this way over to your nightclub uh, personal garage and accept the whiskey shot. And right now, you just wait for yourself to go invisible. Once we go invisible, you quickly hit the gas to drive outside. Here we go. And invisible. Boom. Drive outside. And if done correctly, like before, you will spot outside with no vehicle. You'll just be on foot, okay? So... Nice and easy, guys. I hit this glitch two times in a row, perfectly fine. I think you can do it too, okay? It's really not difficult. I flew back over to my bunker. Now, remember this car, I didn't show you the plate of this one, and I'm not going to, but I showed you the plate of the RHA. It was like CGS something. So you remember that? 83 CGS 243. If you want to rewind, whatever. That was the plate from the RH8, okay? And now I just have to go to the MOC, and once again, here's the proof. There's a car in there already, the original one, all right? So that's the proof right there that you know, and even to prove to yourself that that's a dupe if you didn't see the plate change. But that's how you do it. If you're able to drive this car in there and there's, you know, a transfer alert, then you know that this is a brand new dupe. So that's it, guys. Brand new solo dupe. Get going on this one quick, all right? These things will not last. A lot of dupe glitches right now, they don't last forever. Get going on them now. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.